Hey, 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 you beautiful twin flames, and welcome back to Tarot for You 444. Wow, cards are already flying out the deck. <laughs> oh, how can you keep a straight face when Friends with Benefits Charlie is here? <laughs> with his slightly aroused erection. <laughs> to say hello to you wow this is a secrets of divine masculine video so if you didn't already know <laughs> he's got an orange horse there we go <laughs> now let me be naughty and turn my heater on because it's a little bit cold here today just a just a teensy bit we're out of winter and into spring here in australia but you haven't got a copy yet I want you to pause the video did you get one you did good mmm wow you know when it's the perfect temperature awesome what are we gonna do today are we gonna add a little bit of tea leaf tarot in with the real tarot I think we should I think we should be really naughty so what I'm going to do is, I'm just so excited about this new deck. I can't help it. Just let me get them. While you're waiting for me, go and get that cuppa that you know you want. <laughs> okay. Ooh, and you might want a snack. Go and get a snack while I'm shuffling. Okay, we're already ready today. We're already ready. Divine Masculine is so excited. He's so excited. He wants to talk. He wants to talk already and tell you. Well, he doesn't really want to tell you his secrets, but <laughs> he kind of does. You know what I mean? Like this one here might be a little bit embarrassing. Kind of like that guy at the pool who's wearing the, in Australia we call them speedos, you know, the, the briefs to go swimming and he catches his eye on his, <laughs> the girl that he likes and all of a sudden something pops up and it's not, it's not an idea, if you know what I mean. So that's straight out, <laughs> straight off the bat, that's what we're, we're getting here. Divine masculine being horny. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it to you today. Now, on the bottom of, I'm going to do on the bottom of the, ta the tarot deck that I've already shuffled. And on the bottom of my tea leaf tarot, my, my favorite new tarot, right? I'm going to show you that we have emotional Eric here today we're going to have fun no matter what happens no matter what secrets are divulged today we're going to have fun oh, I still didn't paint my nails I meant to <laughs> I meant to do that last night or this morning and guess what it'll, it'll happen I promise don't judge me <laughs> here's emotional Eric looking at the black rock wondering if the moon is real or if it's a satellite put there by aliens perhaps i did actually just watch a documentary on that which i found quite interesting some say because the moon doesn't spin and everything else does that it's it's not real so there he is contemplating okay and let's see oh i'm so excited what's on the bottom of the tea leaf tarot <laughs> divine feminine you're gonna be happy he's secretly admiring you from afar with the vase here your divine masculine is being your secret admirer if you didn't already know whew, this reading is gonna be really cool I can feel it already in my bones let me just have one more sip of tea seems we're joining the normal tarot with the tea leaf tarot okay 
some kind of non-wish fulfillment is going on here for divine masculine he's maybe got some stuff going on with work or in family that's not creating any wish fulfillment here you know this guy we could call him I don't know greedy Greg <laughs> if he's upright he's greedy Greg you know wish fulfillment guy kind of got everything he needs but when he's upside down he knows what he wants but it feels like it's not tangible in some kind of way and this is emotionally speaking more than monetary or resource kind of speaking And the solar plexus energy here is really strong. So he knows what he wants. You know, he's got that energy inside of him. He knows what he wants. He may even have, your divine masculine may even have the gift of the gab, which is an expression we use here in Australia for someone who can, you know, talk their way out of any situation or, I don't know, sell eyes to Eskimos. You know what I mean? Your divine masculine might be really intelligent by way of speaking. In some kind of way let's see what the tea leaf tarot wants to say yeah look at this we have the cracked cup here okay he made his cup of tea or coffee and it was dissatisfying your divine masculine may also be a coffee drinker there's something to do with coffee here I can feel you know, perhaps he goes out with friends and has coffee or perhaps he enjoys, you know, like he's a connoisseur of that or something. But he's dissatisfied with his current life. You know, these together kind of telling the same story, you know. But it's, it's emotionally here. It's emotionally he may not want you to know this. He may put on this front that everything's fine. He may say, depending on, you know, how close you are or how awakened he is, if you know what I mean. He might kind of say, yeah, you know, everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> you know, there's people that go, everything's fine. And you know that everything's not fine. But he's good with his words. So he may not, you may not be alerted to that. Alrighty, so your past communication or your lack of communication has been blocked by your employment status or his employment status. Okay, this is really interesting because I was thinking about this yesterday, you know, Many of you are not abundant with your communication with your divine masculine. And this is an interesting concept, which I should really do a video about. But I sort of, you know, there's so many different concepts that I haven't, <laughs> I haven't even scratched the surface yet. If something's blocked in your life, your abundance or your employment, or I don't know, the people around you, or something like that, it can block off your twin flame journey, okay, because when you, when you come into being with your twin flame, right, if you, this is, this is how I want to show you, okay, so imagine you're here, and your twin flame's over there, right, you're in France, and he's in Switzerland, let's say, you might only live down the street from one another, but there might be blocks in between. You know, there might be he's got family or employment or he's not ready to commit. Let's say, you know, he's got issues going on here in front of him and you've got issues over here in front of you. All right. So if we looked from the perspective of you looking at the path, you might say, well, 
metaphorically speaking there's all these bushes and branches and forests and roads and hills in the way of me getting there and whatever that is for you is it money is it you know whatever the block is there might be more than one block it might be that you're culturally different and you know he speaks Chinese and you speak Guatemalan and you just you know not supposed to marry or something you know what I mean doesn't matter what the block is if there's blocks in your life in any area of your life this can block your twin flame journey this is why ascension is so important this is why having your own financial freedom is so important this is why having great relationships with the people around you is so important and the block here for divine masculine today is his career or his you know how he gets his money whatever he does whether he's an entrepreneur or whether he works for someone or even if he doesn't work even if he's unemployed right now that is a block to the connection okay because this non the non earning of money or the non being happy in in the job or career can cause the block all right because we're trying to get to that highest vibration of who we really are then we can tune into the twin flame frequency as i like to call it you know you and your twin flame have that frequency the same radio station all right very difficult to tune into that radio station metaphorically speaking if there are blocks in the way as you would know what else does he want to tell us okay he's disappointed okay in the recent past he's either disappointed with you as the empress showing up here which is the twin flame card for me or he's disappointed in his mother for many of you the divine masculine will be disappointed in their mother okay another block here any kind of disappointment any kind of depression any kind of sadness loneliness guilt fear all of those lower vibrational emotions if they are stayed in for too long it creates a block to union okay he's thinking about you thinking about reaching out to you on the world wide web thinking about traveling to you perhaps wow i love this the elephant a long journey either physical or mental that's leaving you wiser at the end look at this they go hand in hand today elephants might be significant significant for some of you elephants are very wise and apparently they're the only other mammal that actually cries your divine masculine feeling emotional about the connection feeling as though he knows it's meant to be feeling wow many of them thinking of union with you this is a bell for me it's a wedding bell today there's also the church being denoted here with the stained glass window whether you're religious or not doesn't matter look at him contemplating here as he's been in separation going through his karmic life he's been thinking about you and if you do come together and then go apart and come together and go apart you know because obviously you know people work and sleep and <laughs> have have lives right he's thinking about you in the times when you're apart and it's kind of like this enlightenment here this you know if someone finds finds their god for the first time and or if you've ever walked into a church you know even if you don't 
believe in in all that stuff but if you've ever worked walked into a church a mosque a synagogue um, a place of worship you can smell the smells of it's kind of like of holiness or of sanctity or of pureness purity we might say that's how he feels when he thinks of you as though he's been blessed okay the next two cards <clears throat> my throat chakra now just let me have a sip of tea because something's coming up that you may not be aware of here divine feminine i'm going like this because i got water and i've got tea and i was like hmm, which one do i have <laughs> i guess <coughs> i guess tea is water in a way there's this envy jealousy interesting energy around your divine masculine here with the skull <coughs> excuse me i always cough when you know some kind of negative energy comes through the cards it's just the, <laughs> the way i channel i apologize for that but this is your divine masculine being unaware being unaware unless he's intuitive he may be aware but there's some skullduggery literally skullduggery which is a i don't know if that's just an australian word or whether people use that in other places of the world but skullduggery is when there's some lying or cheating or deception or secrets going on behind divine masculine's back which is interesting because this is secrets of divine masculine okay so it looks like many of your divine masculines already know about this you know this is the study card or the taking a closer look being aware of the three here you notice those pentacles there also can denote witchcraft or some kind of you know ill wishes but he's he's aware of this okay and he has the knowledge that's also the knowledge card right he has the knowledge and he's trying to have fun regardless you know he's trying to go well i don't know maybe it's payday today i might just go and experience getting my hair cut or buying some new shoes or something like that you know what i mean he's trying to just forget about that and worry about his own vibration which is really good because there's been some arguments here and he knows that he needs to balance himself regardless of what the other people are doing beautiful card here also i think that's like a snake in the center of the scales there reminding me of that kundalini rising you know he's really had to take a lot of things on board with regard to the other people around him there's been a lot of fighting there's been a lot of negativity there's been a lot of people just <clears throat> you know in the current climate of the world they kind of go batshit crazy because they don't know what to do you know they might be locked down they might lose their job they might think well you know what's the point and it's this negative kind of self-talk that other people say and your divine masculine is trying to be as positive as he can in the current situation and here we have the deception in the past okay not from your divine masculine but from, you know from other people towards him but then we have the arrow saying he's on the right path regard regarding the aspect within his life so this is beautiful the arrow he's pointed in the right way so that means divine feminine whatever you're doing 
you're helping your divine masculine pointing him in the right way because you know what you do affects your divine masculine right he's having some trouble with money resources which means many divine feminines may also be having trouble with money or resources He still has great passion, however, for love. Look at this beautiful flower here, representing unconditional love. Realizing, even though he's a man, take gender how it resonates, but even though he's in the masculine energy and money is important because that's kind of the ooga booga caveman thing, you know, he's realizing that love is trumping all and it's interesting because on this right away tarot deck we also have it looks like a tulip here all right that may be or maybe it's not i don't know it could be a hibiscus but either of those flowers may resonate with you divine feminine if you haven't heard from him he's going to be trying to come out of this hanged man space that he's been in this contemplation mode this separation has been imperative for him because here we go he's been able to note some things down he's been able to resolve some of the problems that he's had in his own life he's been able to have the opportunity to think most many divine feminines are females okay some are not but many are and sometimes what we don't realize is that the masculine energy or the man take and again take gender how it resonates but they need time to contemplate they need time to miss you so in that separation when they're not with you that's when they create the the love the love is kind of created in the separation so <laughs> you know how the feminine energy could kind of like hang out forever <laughs> we could just hang out forever like we could just we could shower together we could bathe together forever we could eat together we could even use the same fork and knife we could <laughs> get another straw and share mm, our tea together right <laughs> you could paint my nails and I could do your hair and we could go clothes shopping and then we could go to the supermarket or the grocery store together and oh wow we could just never separate like ever we could even work together <laughs> right this is the feminine energy <laughs> not all not all of you will feel that way but you know we're excited to be with them you know we could even tolerate going to the bathroom while they're just there and having a conversation <laughs> right a divine feminine being the super glue to the connection wanting to be but in the separation is when the divine masculine loves you more when he thinks about the times he shared of you even more when he realizes the blessing and the purity in you in the separation <laughs> wow look at this dealings with a man <laughs> dealings or a relationship with a man or a masculine energy some of you may have a totally Asian divine masculine and look at the infinity symbol in his hair I really want to know where he gets his ribbons from <laughs> look he loves you that's the secret if you didn't already know Wow I like how there's the man and if we go like that there's an M for man he's 
trying to be your everything. It's He's trying to be sexy. He's trying to be loving. He's trying to be sweet. He's trying to be kind. He's trying to be humble. He's trying to be not too obvious, maybe. <laughs> but look, his main secret right now is that he wants to come into you. Someone is entering your life. You know, look at Divine Feminine here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There he is coming and there is her man. She can't see him. Notice how she's got her back to him. That he's coming. We have a match. They've nearly got the same hairstyle. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to do one more flip. Okay. Your divine masculine is being blessed in some kind of way with money here you may not know this but there's some money coming to him in some kind of way he may have instigated this let's see one more oh okay he's not told you <laughs> he's not told you about it or if he did he kind of changed the subject and was maybe telling you about something that made him angry sometimes when your divine masculine gets angry it's because he's frustrated about money many many times divine masculine has a block with money there can be people around him who are jealous about what he has or what he does or take it how it resonates for you yeah Okay, there's some kind of challenge here. He may or may not told, have told you about. Remember I was talking about the mountain? Here's the twin flames and it's like, you know, uh, I don't know. I think I said one's from France and one's from Switzerland. But, you know, there's all those mountains in between, the, all those blocks in between. And there's some things he's not telling you that's bothering him. But because he's trying to be the man, the man, I might just, <clears throat> my throat chakra again, yeah, I might just try and delve into what this is. What isn't he saying? All right. He's trying to step it up. He wants this emotional fulfillment with you. If his, <laughs> if his physical self doesn't know, his soul does. And this is being translated into how hard he's working in the physical reality. Because he's trying to bring this about. You know, his soul is there constantly, you know, trying to give him these messages. But if he's not you know connected to his intuitive side he may not be seeing the synchronicities he may not be seeing the signs because the universe does give us signs all of the time um quite often you know we might see numbers or names or synchronicities come come to us you know you might even be on facebook and up on your news feed comes something and you were just you know like you were thinking about how much you loved i don't know whatever spirit animal you think you have or something like that and then it'll come up and show up on your feed or you were thinking about I wonder if that's my twin flame and then you'll see two swans or something like that you know what I mean so the ones who aren't quite awakened to the connection yet are really throwing themselves into work and they don't know why but it's really this translation here of the soul trying to say you know, this is what's coming. This is what's on the way. You need to kind of step it up. And in stepping up, 
their work it makes them feel grounded and then it kind of I don't know they feel like they're chipping away for something but they kind of don't know what the end result's going to be for those ones that who, who don't know about the connection if you know what I mean so here we have the fox with shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business which is what I was just saying yeah and he's like being the boss you know he may also be the boss he may also be in charge at work but we have a match here the emperor and the empress you notice how she kind of doesn't see him there but he's always there many of you who are in separation with your divine masculines are having this really difficult time feeling them at the moment you know perhaps like a month ago or a week ago you could you know close your eyes and connect to them and now you can't okay it's because they're kind of putting all their effort into the physical tangible world so they're using their lower sh chakras they're using their lower chakras here to ground themselves into the physical world and so you kind of feel this energetic pull away from you you know what I mean because they're so focused <laughs> this is what's happening is they're without even knowing it they're focusing on their career or on their karmic life and they they pull their energy away when they do this you know when they're at work because they're concentrating on something other than you okay and that draws you to them so now as you turn around and concentrate and focus on you and remove the blocks that are in the way to the union whether that's money locality cultural differences you know unconditional love can solve everything but some of them don't even know why they're working so hard they just feel like they need to it's kind of like how a woman before she even knows she's pregnant you know she starts nesting she's kind of like why am I doing this why do I <laughs> why am I making all the rooms pretty why am I painting the whole house you know this is your divine masculine getting ready for union which you know I can't tell you exactly how long away that is but he, you know even if he's not awakened he knows that he's working for something he feels like he's working for something many of them are also hang on <laughs> when they take a little pause from their work they're being the ant at the moment you know like a worker a little worker 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 right they are also coming back and thinking about the communication you've shared thinking about the communication they want to have with you thinking about if you've got pictures or something like that they're looking at those so know that your divine masculine is definitely thinking and aware of you but many of them just feel this compelling need to work and they don't know why right they don't know why but it's kind of like they want to have enough they want to feel safe in the knowing that they've got enough because if they were eventually to come and get you or come and be with you they would want to give you the world right see the house there in a beautiful place the children okay he's probably thinking about the artificial lawn that he wants to put down here <laughs> or maybe that's the sand pit where the kids are playing I don't know beautiful beautiful messages though I hope this reading helps you today and if you need me please reach out to me at my email address which is in the description box below I just wanted to let you know 
that uh, I'm still doing prayers for many of you. So if you want to add your name, feel free to add your name below. You don't have to do your last name, but you can also ask me to pray for, you know, anyone who who you feel needs it at this time. Okay. So please add your name if you feel like that. You know, like, sub like subscribe and share and do all of that fun stuff. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Have a beautiful day, night, afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye.